What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a beautiful holiday week, ladies and gentlemen. Whole week of button check, ladies and gentlemen. It's a special day, because this Monday, you're probably either off of school, you're about to be off of work, something great's about to happen, because it's the holidays. You can feel it in the air, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little chill outside. You're about to have some Thanksgiving turkey. Something good's happening. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let's check these buttons together, y'all. Let's go. First off, we're gonna start it off with weekend winners, ladies and gentlemen. It is, do you ever think about sometimes, like, what the hell is going on? You're trying to watch one tournament, but there's another one. Oh shit, there's two more over here. I didn't even know these were going on. Like, it's Begin and then cap calling points and then you're trying to figure out who's in the lead and all this it's confusing as hell nowadays any gay ladies and gentlemen yes for those of you that are new i said any gay we're gonna start it off with smash summit seven we had some godlike melee action in the end in grand finals it was hungry box against leffen going head to head and hungry box was able to take it home all right this is the moment oh, this god. is where it oh, could just god. be totally oh, god. over okay. oh, oh. Off the and top. And Hungry Box. Dude, he's so scary when he comes down off the invincibility cloud, dude. Oh my god, as soon as Hungry Box comes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then DreamHack Atlanta, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the top eight for all these beautiful matches. There was definitely some hype. Street Fighter, and then you also had some uh, dope Tekken 7 um, Grand Finals that were going on as well. And then Brahala, which a lot of people were looking forward to. So here is all the top eight for all these wonderful godlike players, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to all the winners and all the finalists that took home the belt at the end of the night. And then Red Bull Conquest, ladies and gentlemen, going down this weekend. The homie Toy was there representing. He definitely got top eight. Big up. Very proud of Toy, man. Homie from Dallas throwing it down. We just had him on Bogus yesterday. So big up to Toy doing his thing. But here is the top eight. They had like three different top eights. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's so damn confusing. Everybody was like, yo, how many top eights does one tournament have? Like everybody was like, what does this mean? Who got what points? It was very confusing. But anyway, big up to all the winners. CJ Truth was actually representing, throwing it down with Cammy. He beat Taquito in the open premiere. So big ups to CJ. And then in the other top eight, Punk actually won that one as well. That one was the regional final. So two out of the three top eight, Punk actually took that home. So big up to Punk for actually wrecking shop this weekend. Back in the corner. Jab to confirm and he finds the kick and Punk is gonna be your Street Fighter V Red Bull Conquest champion. Okay, now get into the beef of the meal, ladies and gentlemen. When Hungry Box took home Smash Summit 7, ladies and gentlemen, he gave a speech at the end of it, pretty much calling out his haters. No one likes getting wobbled. I fucking hate getting wobbled. Right. But if you are really that salty where every time you get wobbled... I saw you, you nod, bananas. <laughs> every time, I saw you nod back there. Every time you get wobbled, maybe don't get grabbed. Maybe don't get set up. Maybe mm -hmm. just get good for once in your life and yeah. actually stop blaming the fucking Ooh, character. Damn. Seriously, like, I'm well, sick that's of what, it, that's what People say that, you know me winning is frustrating i think i do add a small token that people don't realize is that you want there to be that, that guy to be you want Dude. there to be a guy when he loses it's so satisfying to everyone and i even though i don't see myself as a villain i'll gladly take that role if it means making the game last longer and then right here ladies and gentlemen after an intense match with zane and he won he popped off oh, oh no oh, oh, oh the no oh yeah! my god Shit by H Box. That was oh my shit. god. Wow. Damn. Well deserved yeah. pop off. Well deserved pop off. Well deserved. But of course, people in the Twitterverse didn't really care for it. It seems like my man Hungry can just, he can't catch a break, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Scar right here posted this starting off. Nothing negative, but he says, waiting for H Box's pop off to reach the point where they register on the Richter scale. And then other people go as far to call it a scummy move. I mean, they really thought it was disrespectful. And then others kind of took it two steps further than that and replied with statements like this saying, no, that actually kind of frightened me. Good for him winning, but I don't think a scream that loud was necessary definitely left an empty feeling in my gut after hearing it it frightened you and then it left you with an empty like was this the first pop-off you guys ever saw and what part of it didn't you like was it the pop or was it the off but then my man chase comes in no idea who he is but i like him he says bet you anything if it was a completely different player like mango left or plup that nobody would have given a shit guaranteed don't see why everybody in the community is so hell-bent on making xbox out to be this bad guy because he's so good at what he does and i have to agree ladies and gentlemen most times i stay neutral you know what i'm saying i'm like okay let what do you guys think but in this particular situation I feel like I have to say my opinion. I feel like 
No, this is not deserved. The people that are giving them a little heat. And then right here, you can see where Hbox actually says, yes, I did calm down and I did go shake his hand. Even he was like, whatever the hell that was, I was just excited. Sum it up, whether you're a fan of this man or not, you cannot sit here and tell me that he just did anything that was just way overboard and it's never been done or seen before. To me, it just seemed like a basic pop-off. But then again, that's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Is there some deeper meaning that I'm missing? Maybe some melee history? I have no idea, but if there is, holler at me. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you bright and early tomorrow morning. Y'all already know what tomorrow is. Love you guys forever. Peace. Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. And throughout all this godlike gameplay and action, top eight on top of top eights with grand finals, Sonic Fox comes in and he's not really in grand finals, but he posts this picture with the controller sticking out of his junk and then people start licking shit and then... Yo, all I know is Sonic donated like 10k to a sick man the other day, so as far as I'm concerned, he could stick a GameCube at his asshole, he'll still be okay with me.